Falcon Wheels booth with an awesome little Tacoma build. What I really appreciate is how many LP4s that they have up top. In order to get all of those up there in a light bar formation, you have to daisy chain two different channels for your amber and your main light. Uh, do that seven times. It's no easy feat, but these wheels are pretty sweet. Beadlock wheels that uh, the color is super unique, kind of like a bronze, I don't know, a bronze brown. And then you have the quick release uh, air down system right there. You got King shocks um, plus a IBD lift on here. Uh, aftermarket bumper. I don't know what bumper that is, but the integrated Baja designs, I really appreciate. Overall, pretty sweet build, but uh, those wheels, Falcon wheels, check them out. All right, check out this second gen Toyota truck. Uh, this thing, I love the color scheme. If you go to forge4x4.com, we actually have some shirts with that color scheme that I think you're gonna like. But I can't say too much about this besides you got some monster LP9s, a ton of aftermarket work on here. This thing has been restored and modified to perfection. I think you got the turbo diesel engine under here as well. The monster 40 inch tires or 38s. Yeah, 37 inch tires. Uh, and I like the, the look of it. And in the back, we got the front runner rack with the Ironman, uh, the water tank right here. What I like about that is you could actually turn it on and power it, which you don't have to pressurize it. A little water pump makes that pretty nice. We actually like Ironman uh, 4x4, Ironman 4x4 a lot. They have really high quality products. We had it on our Dewdrop Alpha uh, and this RTT little Nomad system. Looks pretty sweet. Behind me, we got a new gen Tacoma here with the full trail hunter package, including a snorkel. I like, I mean, that snorkel is pretty cool. It's definitely unique. I don't know if that really helps out with airflow or anything. We got rock sliders on there, the Toyota bronze wheels. Those actually look really sweet. It looks like it has a little bit of a lift and the ARB headache rack. Uh, you got a full compressor back here. That's pretty sweet. I don't know if that actually is a compressor or that just stays there, but uh, then some other details like the uh, 114 volt uh, power plug is pretty cool. I mean, it's gonna be a great platform. They've crushed it out of the park every single time, so. And behind me is a 2024 Toyota Tacoma with the 2.4 liter twin turbo hybrid engine pushing 325 horsepower and 465 foot pounds of torque. What really sets us apart is that wide body stance comes stock with 33 inch tires and the seats I think are the real head turner. The ISO dynamic performance seats with a dampening system is pretty cool. So if you're getting jiggity with it on the trail, that's gonna keep those vertebrae in place, which as I'm getting older, I really appreciate. Now their overall look of this thing is, is what you've seen in the photos. I don't think it's any surprising. I'm not shocking the world with the reveal here, but I do like the stance that it has. The TRD Pro it sets itself apart from something like the, um, just the iForce Max. This is like the SR5 or TRD 4x4 off-road. The difference is really that suspension. Um, also, your travel, it's a little bit taller than the standard Tacoma. And I think these things are gonna take the world by storm uh, because as long as the engine holds up, it's gonna be a great truck. All right, check out this Tacoma that definitely has some Australian vibes. You got the full safari uh, snorkel here, plus this uh, front grille is super unique. Love that with the road armor, road armor front bumper. You got the integrated winch, the diode dynamics headlights are the spotlights right here and the little pod lights. The up overland, up top overland rack system with some awesome little handles and side lights. Got the full Rome adventure gear. You know we love these guys. Storage, the 23-0 tent, and then the wheel and tire combo. Uh, TIS off-road wheels, those are really aggressive. I like the look of it. 34, 35 inch tires, um, plus suspension wise, I'm not sure exactly what we're working with. It doesn't look that heavy duty. Um, in the back here, you, of course, you gotta have a spot for your flag. The rack system is pretty complete. There's a ton of gadgets on here. This thing's definitely set up for adventure.
If you've made it to this point, congratulations. We are giving away over $1,000 worth of Rome Adventure Gear coolers and other awesome products. And all you need to do to get entered is subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon, and leave a comment below. In two weeks, we'll select winners at random and we'll notify you through YouTube. Now, back onto the awesome Toyota content. Behind me, we got the Mountain Yotas Tacoma with the full wide body fiberglass kit. Definitely makes this thing look aggressive. 40 inch tires, those things are insane. With Camberg upper control arms, you got the GOAT suspension set up here. Those are adjustable. Uh, the wrap is really awesome. Not a ton of lights, but you got a little light bar up top. A full overland setup with this tent folds all the way over. Gives you a ton of space. Uh, plus this uh, shell or this canopy is the super Pacific canopy with the wrap integrated. And I mean, this thing is an absolute monster, at least six, six inches of lift and overall pretty sweet build. Behind me, we got the R1 Concepts Tacoma here. I like this Air Raid snorkel, super sleek, doesn't stick out too much, is gonna make sure that your water fording is all the way up to this, which hopefully you're not going that far underwater. Uh, we got a rooftop tent up here with the Sidewinder, uh, I don't know who makes that. Oh, Overland Vehicle System Sidewinder. This tent is rad. It pops up and then comes out, which is pretty cool. The aftermarket uh, bumper by 4WP, and then we also got some fuel uh, wheels which I really like the, blonde, the bronze on the black, plus you got the full King Shock setup. Uh, overall, a build that's definitely seen some use on the trails, which I really appreciate. One thing to add uh, that I just noticed, so I think this is a little diesel heater. You got the air intake right there, the exhaust, uh, plus a little battery setup. And I like how at first glance, we didn't even notice it. We just have these two little Pelican cases, but inside you actually have a heater to be able to throw heat up into your tent and a battery to charge all of your things. Really innovative uh, spot for it because normally this spot, this area is just wasted with a, you know, max track or some rotopax or something like that. But I like it. We're in the Tough Stuff Overland booth with a cool Tacoma build here. Uh, we got the body armor, uh, front bumper, and then on the side, a really clean wrap, just that matte black with some gr or green overtones. But this tent is pretty rad. You got the Alpha series, so you got the full uh, hard shell, but in the back, uh, what I really like about this rack is it's extendable. And if you can see here, you got a little mini moto in the back seat, but you can make it a little bit taller if you wanted or I'm assuming just have crossbars going out right here if you wanted something that was a little bit lower profile so that's a body armor rack nice I'm in the Paramount Automotive booth with a beast of a Tacoma. You got the Icon Vehicle Dynamic Suspension. These wheels are really rad. Weld wheels and kind of a gray, painted gray that looks really sick. But these side steps by Paramount are really rad. And check out this front bumper. Not only does it have an integrated air, so you can just plug your hose in there and fill up on the trail. I like how sleek and dynamic it is while at the same time maintaining that aggressive stance. There's 37 inch Maxxis tires on this so it's gonna be a beast and look at that tread pattern is nuts now check out the back we got the full overlanding setup uh, not only do you have a rooftop rack with some diode dynamics lights but you have the ability to mount some pelican cases on the side of this adventure rack and for good measure why not put some wakeboarding speakers on the back because you know SEMA we got a Toyo Tires Tacoma behind me, and what I really like about this build, not only do you have King Reservoir shocks and piggyback shocks on the back, but this Alu Cab canopy is one of my, it's like a motorhome on wheels. The tent pops up inside, you got a full little setup that you could sit, make dinner. You also have a little stove right here that I think is a wood burning stove, and uh, tons of gear and storage on the back, plus a full size spare tire. These wheels are pretty rad too. These are the Rays forged wheels in bronze. Uh, when you have a forged wheel versus cast aluminum, it's a lot stronger uh, and allows you to have that peace of mind whenever you're on the trail to freaking send it. This thing is rad. Alley cab, we want to put one of those on one of our rigs in the future.
We got a little free runner set up on this Tacoma with the full wide body fiberglass, king shocks, uh, and check out just the Baja stance on this thing, super wide. The dirt king upper and lower control arms, uh, this thing could definitely take some jumps, take a beating, and keep on going. Cool little Tacoma build. We got an awesome uh, Tacoma Beast build right here, Rhino line from head to toe. You have um, a great CBI off-road bumper right there with the integrated uh, light bar. And then check out these wheels, the KMC 74 weld wheels. Um, I think these are just KMC beadlocks and then 74 weld is the axles potentially. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that it does have some King Reservoir shocks. And in the back, we got the RSI Smart Cap with the Prince rack combo. Tons of gear storage back there. Uh, 35 inch monsters and a full size spare. Be careful whenever you are mounting a spare tire on the back of your bumper like this because all that weight could definitely give you some bounce and you could lose control and other things. But overall, you know, Tacoma Beast does great stuff. FSR, uh, smart tent up top. And I think that's about it. Awesome build, Tacoma Beast always does great stuff and this is no exception. We're in the TRE 4x4 booth with the awesome little Tacoma. We've got the Falcon wheels right there, some rock sliders, but this modular bed rack system is really uh, what caught my eye. Not only can you change these out to whatever you want, I love this pattern. You can fit just about anything on there. Uh, awesome little tent. You got some chase lights and uh, check this out. You have like a platform that you can mount stuff on here. A lot of times with a rack, this is just dead space. You can mount a spare tire maybe or some max tracks, but having the ability to throw some different uh, gear bags and other things is really rad. I like the look of it, really modern and sleek TRE 4x4. We're in the Quake booth with a really awesome Tacoma. Uh, pretty standard setup. You got the fuel off-road wheels, wheels, love the bronze and the white mixed together, some good decals, but this is what really caught my eye is this canopy. Uh, not only is this extremely thin because you want to not have a ton of weight on your canopy, it's great to have a heavy duty, but that is pretty sturdy. It's really clean, conforms to the body of the Tacoma, so you're nice and aerodynamic, and in the back here, we also have that continuing of the uh, really thin doors, but still it's heavy duty construction. Uh, this canopy is rad. I'm at the fast top booth with a short bed Tacoma here, and I really like this little canopy with the integrated uh, rack system. Now, I've always said, if you have a rack system like this or any other open rack, everything in the back of your truck bed is gonna be completely destroyed with dirt, mud, grud, crud, it's gonna get wet. Uh, so having either a tunnel cover or something like this is a really cool solution. And this soft topper has a little zipper right here and a latch and that thing comes off. I won't do it right now, but uh, fast top, nice little canopy. Uh, we have the metal FX wheels in bronze, but this is really why we came over here. This easy cap uh, is a cost-effective solution. Again, I love it when the sides of the canopy opens up, plus a uh, great little locking mechanism. You got an integrated reverse light right here, uh, patented solution with a rooftop tent, but overall really quality design uh, and I'm a big fan of the canopies. A lot of canopies this year. 10 Daystar kits, a couple toy tech pieces, and five rounds. We're in the Pelican case booth with Taco Chris's Tacoma, this TRD Pro. Looks like a 2017, 2018, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit newer. We got the Prince U rack with the Pelican case up top. And check out all these Pelican cases back here. Uh, they have a wide variety of awesome storage solutions. You got integrated Molly panels, the ability to put on, you know, a little shelf, put all your recovery gear in there. I like how you have the cubes, but also you can mount it actually on the truck bed or use it as a gear storage on the front. Ton of really good solutions from Pelican. Yeah, we're at the Rockslide Engineering booth with the awesome little Tacoma here with some 35 inch BFGs. You got the Fox 2.5 performance uh, reservoir.
reservoir shocks, but this is the new product that's out now. Everyone knows rock slide engineering for their side steps, but if you just want rock sliders a little bit more cost effective, uh, this one doesn't pop out. You could just bounce up and off of rocks and slide right over it without damaging your body. In the back of this build, uh, we have this really cool solution. Check out this little step system that folds up uh, easily and out of way. I like that, especially if you have a rooftop tent, you're not climbing all over your tires and getting all dirty. You could just jump up right there. Uh, we got a goose system in the back, some snail armor right here, which is pretty rad, and a nice little motorcycle ARB fridge with a ton of goose gear and slides. Solid build, Rockside Engineering. This Tacoma in the ARB booth is insane. Got the Trail Hunter. This is the brand new 2024, not even out yet. Uh, you can see the, um, I believe that's just the stock bumper with the integrated rigid lights. I love the look of the Toyota when it's bronze like that. But we also have some ARB side steps, uh, heavy duty tube side steps with the integrated snorkel and the back. Uh, it's got the full uh, rack system that has a little molly panels. We got a rooftop tent up top. Overall, the brand new Tundras are sick, guys. I'm telling you, don't sleep on them. I think they're gonna absolutely crush. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Don't put deep dish wheels on off-road vehicles. Don't do it. All right, that is a wrap. Every single Toyota at SEMA has been seen, profiled, and I need to know which one is your favorite. Leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe and like, uh, hit the bell icon because we are posting SEMA videos every single day this week and profiling every single 4x4 vehicle at the SEMA show. I'm not going to be able to talk at the end of it, but that's not going to stop me from bringing all this awesome content to you. So make sure to check out Forge4x4.com if you want to win our Tundra. In the meantime, bring on the wild. Thank you.